What's up my dudes and welcome back to Pro Cycling Madrid 2020 for stage number 4 of Tirreno Adratico, stage between Terni and Caccia, 189 kilometers for a mountain stage, the first mountain stage out of two on this Tirreno we'll have the Forca di Gualdo, the Rifugio Perugia and the Ospedaletto, it's going to be a very interesting stage. It's going to be a very interesting stage. If you've missed the previous episodes, I highly recommend you to go and watch them, uh, especially the last one, because it was somewhat interesting. We're currently second of the GC with uh, the Squallo, Vincenzo Nibali. Let's see if we can uh, improve on that position by one. And one way, for this stage number four, it's a plus four for Julien Bernard. Sadly, it's minus one for Vincenzo. Uh, I might kind of like fuck up my plans, I won't lie. Um, but we'll see. Um, We'll see what I can do with that. Antonio with a plus one, Alex Kitch with a plus one, Peter Venning with a zero, Brambi a minus one as well. Uh, I guess I'll have to count on, uh, on Julien here to um, carry me to the win. Uh, hopefully I won't bottle it like I did in the previous episode uh, because that was somewhat embarrassing, I won't lie. Uh, but Antonio is at the front already. Uh, some riders attacking Martin Vinans, Nathan Haas, Julien Vermotte, Kylian Franchini, Adam Hansen, Ilio Kaiser. Victor de la Parte, Kevin Rivera de la Parte, who's got five points going for uh, the um, mountain jersey. Somehow the first category gives as many points as the second. Or maybe every column, I think every column gives the same amount of points. That's weird. Alright, I'm going to try the tactic I wanted to do at the start. Uh, that was despite, or oh, that was not knowing I'd have a minus one. But the aim was to like pace a lot in this climb, in the Forca di Gualdo. And try to see what what could happen, and maybe like attack with Vincenzo after the Rifugio, Rifugio Perugia, and like go on my own in the downhill. Uh, I thought I would be able to like do it, but with the minus one, I'm, I'm not so sure today. But we'll still try. Uh, I mean, it's it's all for the show, isn't it? Uh, we're gonna catch Julien Vermotte and then Bruno Amirai. Uh, eight minute breakaway, I haven't taken a look, but we've got Franchini, Haas, De La Porte, Jonathan Hiver, and Rivera because they're avec. Kaiser and Adam Hansen just completely died. Uh, Ineos have, has done what I wanted to do, it, what I wanted to do, but they did it with Gegenhardt, Freeman, and Garin Thomas. So they're, they're now gone. It's a bit different when, when they do it, I won't, I won't lie. It's mainly because Anthony Nibali is a dickhead. Uh, he decided to block Vincenzo. For no purpose whatsoever. Uh, but Julien Bernard is on his own. Uh, I'm going to maintain this rhythm. I won't attack with Vincenzo. I'm not I'm not a dumbass. Oh, Michael Woods fam, why? Why would you attack now? I want my fucking points. For fuck's sake. I wanted Julien to get points. But at this rate, I'm not going to get any, am I? I don't think I'm going to get any points. Uh, yeah, no, nah, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, let's be real. I, I am getting points. Mathieu Van Epple is still here. Ah, I see. Well, we've lost. Uh, but we've crossed the summit. Simon Yates has attacked. Don't tell me it's a real attack, please. I need, I need to fucking recover energy, lads. Please. Uh, IS coming up. I'm not gonna fight for it. Kian Frankini will have the first place. Uh, and oh, don't let it be Chris Froome, please. Okay, Yates and Garen Thomas for third. And Garen is gone. Geraint is actually gone. <laughs> For fuck's sake. There's 50k left. Well, there's 40 kilometers left. And Geraint Thomas has decided to fuck off on his own. Mad. PCM, mate. You keep on surprising me. Uh, what's happening? Also, Kelderman and Fulsong. Do you mind, like, I don't know, relaying me? Okay, we're in the downhill. We'll see if we can catch Geraint in that downhill portion. Uh, Jacob is still here, Kelderman got dropped as well, Carretero is still here, mad, okay. Julien Bernard, not far off, Julien is not far off, Julien is with Yates, Micah and uh, Rue Costa, good, uh, good climb by, uh, by the Frenchman here. And Mathieu Van Der Poel is in A2. Uh-huh. I thought for a second that Dylan Tunes was in that group, but no, Dylan Tunes is behind with Alexander Vlasov. <sighs> Mathieu, 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 Mathieu. Alright, we're gonna let Fugelsong do the work here. To catch, uh, to catch Geraint. I am gonna relay. I've done the entire descent on my own. And we've reeled Geraint Thomas back in. Stonks. Do they collaborate? We'll see. We'll see if they do collaborate. Uh, in the meantime, Kelderman, Carretero, Van der Poel, Hagen, and Matthias Frank are well and truly collaborating. 
Uh, nope, they're not pacing with me, so we'll just wait, I guess. We'll just wait. We'll see if Julien Bernard can make a comeback. That'd be nice. Uh, Hector Carleto goes for it. We're gonna follow Matthias Frank, I guess. Yeah, we'll follow Matthias Frank. It's not much of a, not much of a threat, is he? No, Garin don't go. Garin, Garin, Garin. Nice. Right, is A1 like Dylan Tunes is there? Dylan Tunes is back in this group. Okay. Mathieu van der Poel has it. Mathieu van der Poel has dropped us. Mathieu van der Poel has dropped Garin Thomas and Vincent Nibali. That's it. That's that's the tweet right there. Okay. Well, Julien Bernard, mate, pace. Come on, Julien. <laughs> it's all I can ask from you. And Dylan Tunes has now dropped us as well. What is this race? What is that? what's happening? Oh, right, Julien Bernard is a legend of the work. But Matthias Frank is way, way too strong from what I remembered. <laughs> it's it's weird. It's really weird. Uh, but we're go we've we've started that downhill portion. Van der Poel is in the lead uh, with Matthias Frank. Dylan Tuns is here in a seven-man group with two of my riders and three Neos. So lads, have it. Do the work. I'm not gonna pace at all. And then it's three Sunweb. <laughs> I Jacob Ferrari in in a big gal right now. But we should be able to uh, to make a comeback eventually. Uh, at least I believe we will. I can stop. Uh, well, I can recover some energy here. In that downhill, we are once again in a one-man group. Uh, and now I'm gonna pace. Now I'm gonna pace because otherwise the group behind will come back, and I do not want that. I do not want Jakob Fulsang to be in my wheel. Uh, but it's gonna be a sprint. It's gonna be a sprint in uh, in Katia. We're gonna use the gels. For both Julien Bernard and Vincent Sonibeli. It's a 14 man group that will fight for the win today. Julien has started his efforts. Oh, Nibeli is well placed. Nibeli is well placed for once. Vincent, so don't get fucked like yesterday. I swear to God. Oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm losing it again. I'm going to lose again to the Lanterns. I hate this man. I hate this man. Ah, it's Mathieu Van der Poel winning. It's Mathieu Van der Poel winning ahead of Gary Thomas and Vincent Sonibeli. <sighs> <laughs> I hate this man, he's too good. <laughs> Julien Bernard P10, big up. But it's P3. Yesterday was P2, today P3. Can I have a P1 at least once? Cheers. So that's that's three and four for Mathieu Van der Poel. It's good to know. <laughs> it's very, very, very good to know. He's too good. The worst thing is, all right, because, I mean, sure, he came back and well, he, he recovered and then downhill and then it was a, a hilly sprint. He was the favorite. Yeah, I get that. Uh, he was in A2 at the summit of the first car. Uh, he was in the six best riders, knowing that the first group was Garin Thomas on his own. Then it was Nibali Fulsong. Then it was Kelderman, Van der Poel, Conrad. That's just what? What do you mean? He was ahead of like the Yates, the Micah, Vlasov, Dylan Tunes, who came back in fourth place. But if, uh, Michael Matthews was here? Aye, this is weird. Matthias Frank P9, I, I, I cannot believe what I'm seeing, but we move. Uh, okay. Now, GC was, I don't know what that means. Because Dylan Tunes and I are going to be in the same second. I, I, I'm guessing I'm first. Yes, lads. We're first. For, for zero seconds, we're taking the lead. Okay. Big up. Uh, Points-wise, well, Van Der Poel just storms ahead. Mountain-wise, Julian Verna is still indeed ahead of Vincenzo. Best Wilder is still Van Der Poel. Uh, no, now, now it's Van Der Poel. He overtakes Alexander Vlasov. I'm surprised Van Der Poel got lost yesterday. He lost a minute, I think. He lost a minute on this parkour, all right? But he won this one. <laughs> I, I hate him. <laughs> He's too polevolent. Uh, but we move. Anyway, GC West, we're leading the uh, the race ahead of Dylan Tunes, Garen Thomas, Fulsong, and Chris Froome. Julien Bernard is making a comeback in 23rd. I'm guessing I've lost the team. Yep, I've lost the team classification, but it's fine. I don't care. Okay, well, tomorrow is the Queen stage between Norcia and Sassotetto. Hopefully, Vincenzo will have a better day. Uh, hopefully, Mathieu won't have as good as the day he had today. At least, I hope he had a good day today, because otherwise, that was very, very scary. Uh, and yeah, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. To make sure to see this stage, then please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't so already. Leave a like down below if you've enjoyed the content. Uh, that you've watched. Follow me on my social media. The links are in the description down below. But I shall see you in the very near future. 
My name has been Blacko. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys. Have a great day and goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. What the mother man need feeding? I don't wanna go bomb Them I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bass. Snapping with the phone and dab. I'll stop a man with the duster. Put him in the drip and sip, blockbuster.